Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Snuggles and Storytime. My name is Amanda, and I'm glad that you could join me today. Today, I have a silly story for us. It's a silly story about somebody that snores. Do you know what snoring is? It's when you're sleeping, but your breathing makes a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mommy snore or daddy snore or brothers or sisters snore. Sometimes even animals snore. Does anybody snore at your house? At my house, my kitties snore. They do. But in today's story, it's not the kitties that snore. It's somebody else. So let's read our story in a moment. But first, let's sing hello. So put your hands up so you can join me. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, all my friends. How are you? Hello, all my friends. How are you? With the jiggle, 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 and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Oh, it's going to be a fun one today. It's called My Daddy Snores. Does your daddy snore? I wonder if he does. I think... A lot of daddy snore. I think a lot of people snore. But did you know that sometimes people will say, oh, I don't snore. And that's because they can't hear themselves when they're sleeping. That makes sense, right? That's what I thought. So today our story is called My Daddy Snores. And it's written by Nancy H. Rothstein, and it's illustrated, or the pictures, are by Stephen Gilpin. It's a really funny story. I hope you like it. On Monday, Daddy's snore boomed like a dinosaur's roar. The windows rattled and the walls trembled so, mommy played musical beds. So she's sleeping with the brother. She tried sleeping in my bed, but I hogged the blankets. She tried sleeping in Natalie's crib, but it broke. Uh-oh, does not look like mommy's getting much sleep that night, does it? Mm-mm. On Tuesdays, Daddy's snore rumbled like an earthquake. It shook Mommy right out of bed. Oh, boy. That looks like it hurt. So she slept in the bathtub. But the faucet dripped water on her head all night long. Drip, 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 drip. Would you be able to sleep with water dripping on your head? I wouldn't be able to sleep with water dripping on my head. On Wednesday, Daddy's snore chugged like a freight train. So... Mommy slept in Hammy's cage. Hammy the hamster. That does not look comfortable, does it? No way. But she was too squished. And it smelled funny. On Thursday, Daddy snore buzzed like a bumblebee. So, Mommy slept in the doghouse. I bet it was quiet out there, but do you think it was nice and warm and cozy? Hmm. My guess is it would be cozy for a dog, but maybe not a mommy. 
But poor Rober didn't sleep a wink. He howled instead very loudly. On Friday, Daddy's snore was like a whistling teapot. So this time, Mommy made Daddy sleep in Splish's bowl. And even Daddy's bubbles snored loudly. It was not very fair to Splishy. On Saturday, Daddy snore honked like a truck. Mommy got a great idea. She made Daddy sleep in our tent. Hmm, do you think that's a good idea or a not good idea? Well, she probably doesn't hear him as much because he's outside. But if he snores really loud, I wonder, I wonder if the neighbors would wake up. Hmm, let's see what happens. But he woke up all the birds. Then the birds woke us up. It was not a great idea after all. Uh-oh. On Sunday morning, Mommy looked like a zombie having a bad hair day. No more snoring, she yelled. She took Daddy to the doctor, and the doctor helped cure Daddy's snoring. <gasps> Look, Mommy fell asleep at the doctor's office. On Sunday night, Daddy didn't snore. The whole house was quiet. Mommy slept, I slept, Natalie slept, Rover and Splishy and Hammy slept until Daddy started talking in his sleep. Thanks, I'd love more ice cream, he said. Oh, and that's the end. Uh-oh. So Daddy didn't snore anymore, but he started talking in his sleep. Do you think that's going to wake everybody up? Maybe. Well, I hope your daddy doesn't start talking in his sleep. And I hope you're able to sleep even if somebody is snoring. Maybe the person snoring is you. We'll see. I can't wait to see you next time, friends. Until then, bye-bye.